right, so one of the uh, Marvel Legends that I'm going to be unboxing today is none other than Magneto himself, Magnus, whatever you want to call him, and this is the Marvel Studios X-Men 97 Marvel Legend that uh, recently came out within the last couple months, and this is uh, recording as of February, and I um, tried to put it on my display uh, wheel, but it just kept hitting the wall up top so it kept falling over so i was like i'm just gonna just uh, film the introduction like i used to back in the day before i even got that little display wheel um and just take a look at it here so essentially you can see on the top here and i actually started to unbox it and notice that i didn't actually do the the uh, intro so it's actually opened but i made sure that i didn't destroy the the card so you can get magneto uh wolverine Storm with a new haircut, uh, kind of uh, reminiscent of her haircut that she had in the early 90s in the comics. Gambit Bishop with a new haircut, no mullet no more. Wah, I love the mullet. Uh, and Rogue. So these are the first uh, wave for the uh, X-Men 97 figures. And this is the continuation of the initial 90s cartoon that we all knew and loved back in the day. If you guys are in your uh, 40s, uh, late 30s, you knew this uh, cartoon very well. It was part of your childhood. You could not uh, go through a Saturday morning without watching the episodes, what was going to happen next. So, um, spoiler alert, uh, because I'm sure everybody who's into this uh, comic book number one and also the show, um, and of course they've uh, already uh, made mention of this uh, when they came out with the series that, uh, of course, we all knew that uh, at the end of the initial series that uh, Professor Xavier had gone to live a life with Moira McTaggart and he was no longer going to be the leader of the X-Men, but Magneto or Magnus will be the leader going forward of the X-Men uh, as he is now reformed and looking to uh have mutants and humans live amongst each other without any prejudice he's seen the error of his ways um he does have another uh costume that he will wear i would imagine that's probably going to be in wave two of this particular series but without further ado let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy be with you in a moment stop the presses folks we're not done with just magneto uh-uh everybody got that and all we're also going to be unboxing the man from the, the future. Uh, I'm a little bit confused, and I'll go over the details as to why he's part of this uh, lineup. But none other than the future man himself, the man with a nice spanking brand new haircut, Bishop. And as you can see in the back, you can get Magneto, Wolverine, Rogue, Storm, Gambit, and Bishop. But I have seen some of the new series that's coming out with the new the magneto with the new uh outfit that he has on and uh also uh cyclops and then some other figure i forget her name um her name escapes me at this point but yeah so we're not gonna just uh stop at magneto we're gonna keep going on this x-men 97 train let's get it I am Magneto, Master of Magnet. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be reviewing the X-Men 97 Magneto for the Marvel Legends. So they recently, as of uh, within the last few months, started to come out with these Marvel Legends. And this is based on the X-Men 97 uh, cartoon that's going to be coming out on Disney Plus soon. It feels like forever they've been talking about this, and I guess um, because of the um, SAG after strike and the actor strike, um, it, they kind of had to push back a lot of stuff. But uh, X Men was one of the uh, cartoons that I loved to watch on Saturday mornings and also in the afternoons when I got out of school. And Magneto was a big part of that because he was kind of like the main. Uh, antagonists in that show but they also covered a lot of things you know like days of future past uh, savage island uh what else the the, the brotherhood or uh, i forget what the what group the white queen is a part of but they did that that storyline 
amongst other ones. So it's going to be uh, a continuation of sorts where Magneto is actually, spoiler alert, it's in the comics, so it's not spoiler. Um, Magneto basically leads the X-Men instead of Professor Xavier because if Professor Xavier leaves and starts his own life with Mora McTaggart. Mm. Um, but yeah, so he has no pinless joints here on the elbows. His articulation is pretty cool with the shoulders, although his cape it does give him a, quite a bit of weight. So sometimes it's hard to stand him up. I may have to get a, get a stand for him, one that can actually keep him on the ground. Um, he does have the uh, hands. It doesn't come with any uh, extra accessories, like any extra hands or anything like that. But it, that's not a you know a big issue. Um, he does have articulation in the torso, and also the T the T uh, is that what they call it the T joints over at the uh, waist where you can go laterally up down and then you can also move the thigh that's the uh, articulation there articulations in the knees and in the uh, the ankles so one of the things that I like is that uh, they did co cover the color palette of his costume perfectly um, I don't know does this does this mask come off his helmet I don't think it does um, but he is going to have a different uh, costume coming where uh, I'll put a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. There's a new costume that he's going to have where he's not going to have his helmet. So uh, this is going to be the first one to come out. And then the, the next waves after that, when the show comes out, I'm sure they're going to have one with the new costume where he does not have his helmet. But this is the old school Magneto. Uh, when I look at this, I also think of the 80s uh, X-Men cartoon where... Uh, it was released on VHS, but it, it never kind of continued. It was like a four episode thing where they had Dazzler. It was like kind of if you if you played the arcade game X Men, the arcade game or the Uncanny X Men, where you had Cyclops, Wolverine, um, Dazzler, uh, Nightcrawler, Beast wasn't in there, so you had uh, Storm, uh, Kitty Pride, and who else? Beast wasn't there, but you had Cyclops. Colossus, Colossus was there. So those were the uh, Uncanny X-Men that were also in the comics as well. But I just wish they would have given that a little bit more chance. Um, but yeah, I remember... I didn't see it when it came live. They said that they aired it on NBC, but I don't remember ever seeing that. I remember the uh, the Incredible Hulk. That, uh, that one I remember before it went on to Fox. Uh, they had um, the Incredible Hulk on uh, NBC for a little bit. But... Um, yeah, so this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I can say. Although I am having a hard time trying to keep him upright and not fall like he's going to if I let him go. But check that out. If you guys are big collectors, you guys want to pick this up. It's not something that you don't want to you know, let go and uh, because, get into the secondary market because that can be expensive. I've had some so many things happen especially with the spider-man marvel uh marvel legends when i started collecting marvel legends those were the one of the first ones and the spider-man man i let those go into secondary market and they are expensive let me tell you right on folks we're gonna be getting right into this special edition to the initial Magneto X Men '97 toy unboxing. We're going to be unboxing again the X Men '97 Bishop, which um, I mentioned that I was a little bit confused as to why this Bishop was even in the series. Because you guys remembered, if you were a big fan of the '90s cartoon of the original um, X Men, Bishop was from the future. Okay, he wasn't around the time when the X Men were alive. And therefore, how in the heck is he not creating a Nexus event by running around with the, the X-Men? You know what I mean? Like, I know he is an X-Men, but he was from a future version of the X-Men. I mean, that's the whole reason why uh, Days of Futures Past happened, where he goes back thinking that he needs to assassinate um, somebody pers uh, impersonating uh, Gambit. Because he essentially, you know, spoiler alert, somebody was impersonating Gamut, uh, who was going to kill the president, essentially caused the uh, Days of Future Past whole storyline. But 
one of the things that you want to make sure to kind of notice is that if you remember the original uh, con or contest cartoon, that he uh, lost his mullet, bro. That's last for me, if you ask me, man. The mullet is what made Bishop. You know, um, he does have the, still the M mark. I thought it was a tattoo, but I guess I uh, was told later that it was a brand, that there was a hot iron that they branded uh, mutants whenever they were in captive, uh, when they were held captive in captive, that's not even a word. When they were held captive and enslaved by Nimrod and the rest of the Sentinels um, in Days of Future Past. So he also had that brand, but then I guess he scored a deal where he was able to work for them and hunt uh, mutants, uh, which was one of them, what happened to be Wolverine. He does come with some extra hands, as you can see here. There we go. There we go, love. But he also comes with uh, his blaster, which has a really sweet holster on the back. Uh, but again, I like it because of the fact that it is the same holster he has in the cartoon. Um, everything else is good. Like his his outfit is good. His uh, his head scan is great. It's just the hair was kind of like throwing me off a little bit. But I get it. They had to change it up for a newer time. Articulation is pretty good. Um, pinless joints on the elbows. Uh, you can move his his hands. His head's kind of loosey goosey a little bit. His legs are real stiff. It was kind of hard for me to like you know break them in to be able to move them. You can move the uh, the shins and over also the uh, ankles as well. So definitely should be great for posing. I'm actually really excited to actually display this and I'm still looking for the rest of them. I did see that Cyclops, I've been seeing the Cyclops uh, on social media on Instagram. So I'm guessing that's probably gonna be part of the new wave that's coming out. So I still need that Wolverine as well. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the next one. Everyone can relax. Gambit has returned. All right, so finally, for real this time, finally rounding out this toy unboxing is going to be none other than my boy Gambit from the X-Men 97 Marvel Legends line. Already put in the uh, one of the accessories of his hands where it basically shows his kinetic card. Throwing these uh, trading cards out there. A little bit too small, I guess, for those trading cards, but I digress. I mean, you kind of you take the good with the bad. Uh, he does come with uh, another, some extra hands here. I'm gonna make sure I got him so he can stand up. He does come with uh, another hand that was initially in the box with him. And then it comes with another thing here. I don't even know how you'd be able to use this. Another kinetic card here so I'm not even sure how you're supposed to use that but I, I like this better so I put that in there I'm gonna go ahead and have him displayed like that he is able to be art articulate in his midsection although his trench coat really just kind of you know hinders what you can do with him he does have the articulation on his uh, elbows over on his arms as well heads pretty good no torso uh, articulation, but you can um, go ahead and... Wow, the legs are really small, bro. You got some chicken legs, bro. What the age, dude? There is another uh, Gambit that was on um, a retro Toy Biz uh, Marvel Legends. I'm going to put a picture right here so you can see what the, you know, the difference is. There's not really much difference, but... One of the biggest difference that I did see on this particular X-Men 97 is it does not come with his staff. You know, his staff that he's normally used whenever he's fighting. That was a real head scratcher. Like, why didn't they include his staff? But in the retro uh, X-Men Toy Biz Marvel Legends series that they were putting out, um, you can I believe it does come with a staff. So that's actually, I might have to get that just to have the staff. Um, or maybe I can find the staff Lucy, but I'll probably get that other uh, Gambit anyway. I mean, they pretty much look damn near the same. There's not really that much that, you know, that dissimilars from each other other than 
the maybe the head sculpt is a little bit more up up to date. As you can see here. So, and I'm gonna need the rogue. I did see uh, I did do a uh, most recent toy hunt at uh, my favorite place to go, Heroes Hideout. That's actually gonna be coming out around the time of this uh, toy unboxing. So I'll try to make it so that it comes around the same time because I did see a rogue in there as well. Uh, so I was really happy to see that there. So I might pick up that rogue. Uh, still on the hunt for Wolverine. So if you guys want to hit me up on my DMs, let me know if you got an X-Men 97 Wolverine. Pretty uh, simple. I mean, there's really not much you can say about um, Gambit. I believe that I was hoping that they probably would have had maybe some extra arms, maybe. So you could take off the trench coat and just have him fight without his trench coat. But I don't think that's going to be doable. I just like this whole kinetic charge, you know, with the cards here part of his mutant powers so awesome 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 can't believe i have these x-men 97 line figures i still need to get some more the name's gambit on a me remember it be sure to like and subscribe and also comment in on any of our video submissions on youtube instagram facebook and patreon follow us on tiktok and follow us on twitch See you later, guys. Thank you so very much. Keep on. Cruising.